Hello, hello. Good night. How are you guys? How's everything today? Hello, I am very good. Awesome. How was your day? How was your day? How was it? Was it good? Good. Good. Okay, awesome. All right, so let's see. <laughs> okay, so, uh, you know, um, today we're going to continue what we um, left off yesterday, you know, what we um doing just right now i want to ask you something guys do you have any question aprovechar ahorita no sé si alguno de ustedes chicos los que están ahorita unidos tienen alguna pregunta mm -hmm. any question anything that you guys want to ask well in my case about yesterday about the hours um uh, it was a shame because i can't use the clock and in spanish either in english <laughs> <laughs> okay um Give, give me one minute. Deme un minuto. Creo que me escuchan así como cortado, ¿no? O todos escuchan bien. Sí, sí, sí. Te oye cortado. Ok. Es porque se me está cambiando el dispositivo de salida. Deme un segundo. Just give me a second. Ahí está. Ahora, ¿cómo me escuchan? ¿Ya me escuchan bien? Can you hear me well now? Yes, ya se escucha cortado, ¿cierto? Clear, clear. Awesome, thank you. Sí, es que a veces pasa cuando conecto a otro monitor, uh, entonces lo detecta como speaker, and that happens. So, a veces, a veces pasa, sometimes it happens. So, um, <clears throat> so, Catherine, don't worry about that. I mean, I understand. Uh, no se preocupe, I mean, it happens a lot of times. Uh, a, a mí me costaba ese reloj también. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, it's okay. I mean, sometimes, sometimes it's not that we don't know how to say the things in English. It's just that, you know, it's, it's, we just don't really know how to say it in Spanish either, you know. So, it's okay. Don't worry. You're good. Um, Anything? Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. But, you know, if, if you have a question or anything, just, just let me know, okay? There's no problem about that, okay? Um, something else I want to start talking about is about the... Okay, give me a second. Give me just a second. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen right now, guys. And I'm going to share right now the phrase for today. Okay. So, ¿se acuerdan que dijimos que íbamos a estar hablando de unas frasecitas por ahí? Y el punto aquí no es que, no es que yo diga, ah, quiero que reflexionen sobre su vida. O, bueno, si ustedes quieren, denle más. Pero no, el punto acá es hablar. Que podamos decir dos, tres palabritas en inglés. Sobre esa frase, perfecto. O sea, el punto es que aprendamos a hablar de todo un poquito en inglés. Entonces, dando la opinión de eso, eso nos va a ayudar. I mean, les digo, de verdad, dos, tres palabras que ustedes quieran y puedan decir, está bien. Vamos a llegar a un punto en el que ya vamos a tener más palabritas, más cosas que decir y así, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? So, that's what it is. So, let me share my screen right now. Okay. Okay, this is the phrase for today. So it says, where there is love, there is life. So that is the phrase for today. Les doy un par de minutos, chicos, si ustedes eh, <clears throat> para que preparen ahí su opinión. Y si hay voluntarios, me la dicen. Okay? If you have a question about the meaning of any of those words, just let me know as well. Mm -hmm. Where there is love, there is life. Mm -hmm. So what does it mean? So what does it mean? What do you guys think about that? Mm -hmm.
Okay, volunteers. Mm -hmm. Voluntarios. Yes, no, could it be? Mm -hmm. Acuérdense, aquí no hay respuestas correctas o incorrectas. Es solo su opinión y lo que usted piensa, pues, es su opinión. Así que no es una respuesta equivocada. ¿Ok? So, what do you think? Okay, Omar, Luzardo, thank you. Tell us, what do you think? Okay, uh, where there is love, there is life. And also, where there are life, there is love. Okay, that's a good way to see it. Thank you, Omar, yes. Also, where there is life, there is love. Okay, thank you so much. Pretty good, Omar. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I'm in agreement with that, you know, I mean, if we're alive, we should be able to love people, you know? That's what we should be able to do. All right. Thank you, Omar. Thank you. Any other volunteer? Okay. Volunteers? Jonathan, tell me, what do you think? I think it's essential to life. Mm, okay. So yes, I mean, I agree with that, you know, it's essential in life. So you must love, you know, you must love the people, I mean, your family and things like that, right? So yes, thank you so much. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. Anyone else? Any other volunteer? One more. Un voluntario más. One more volunteer. Mm -hmm. Okay, Nidia, tell me, what do you think? Of course, if there is love, there is light. Okay, of course, you said. Where there is love, there is life. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay, guys, thank you. Alguien más, alguien más, antes que cerremos esta section before we uh, finish this section about the phrase. Anyone else? Mm -hmm. No? Any other volunteer? No se quede con las ganas. Véalo hoy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Dígalo hoy. <laughs> ya los vi ahí, ten, ya les vi la cara a algunos que quieren, quieren, quieren participar. Ahí está, ya vieron. Okay. Flor de María, tell me, what do you think? Your microphone is off. There it's you. true. Um, I agree. I agree. I agree. Okay. No, I agree. It's true mm -hmm. and you I agree. agree. Okay. All right. Pretty good. Pretty good. Awesome. Awesome. Um, that's pretty good. Okay. Anyone else? Mm -hmm. Okay, Kenny, tell me. Bien que ya no tuvimos que usar la ruleta. So Kenny, tell me. <laughs> uh, I think that's right. Okay. You think that is right? Okay. Pretty good. That's that's really good, actually. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you so much. All right, Joanna, tell me. I think the love is emotion, mm. and is the will change the the way you look at your life. Wow, that's pretty deep. All right, cool. Yeah, you know, thank you. I appreciate your sharing that opinion with us. All right, cool. Um, thank you, guys. Exactamente eso es lo que quería buscar en ustedes. 
hay que perder el miedo, ¿ok? Démosle dos, tres palabritas que lo digan en inglés, después ya van a ser 20, después 100, después ya no me van a dejar hablar. O sea, así, ¿ok? <ríe> That's what we have to do. Little by little. Poquito a poquito vamos a ir aprendiendo más. Y la idea aquí es que ustedes puedan dar la opinión de cualquier cosa y las, las frases son bien random. O sea, no es que yo vaya eligiendo, ay, esta está bonita, esta no, no. O sea, es random. De cualquier cosa va a salir... Y esa es la idea, que ustedes puedan dar opinión de cualquier cosa. In English, of course. So, thank you guys. Thank you so much. So, um, we're going to do something. So, I'm going to call the attendance right now. You know, just uh, just to take advantage of the time because that's, that's what we need to do. If you hear your name, say present or I'm here. Um, Aaron Omar. Okay. Uh, what about Ada Lisette? Okay, let's go with Ana Beatriz. I'm here. Thank you. Let's go with Ana Esmeralda. Okay, let's go with Ana Noemi. Presente. Okay, Carlos Vladimir. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Consuelo del Rosario. Present. Elida Maritza. Flor de María. Present teacher. Jasmine Magdalena. By the way, guys, um, está comenzando a llover acá, so si de repente no me escuchan. Bueno, voy a tratar de hablar fuerte, pero si no me escuchan, digan, teacher, hable más fuerte, no le escucho. <laughs> okay, so, and sorry if you hear noise, okay. Um, so, Joana Guadalupe. Present. Okay. Uh, Jonathan Alexander. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Ismael. Present, teacher. All right. Jose Salvador. Catherine Tatiana. Here. Okay, she's not here. Okay. Kenny Guadalupe. <laughs> Just I'm here. <laughs> I see you, Catherine. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Marilyn Yvonne. Okay, then let's go with Marlene Concepcion. Uh, Marvin Omar. Okay, Nidia. Yep, Nidia. I'm here. Thank you. What about Nixia? Uh, present. Thank you so much. Let's go with Omar Luzardo. Present teacher. Thank you. Rebecca Beatriz. Okay, Reina Lisette. Present. Okay, Ricardo Alfonso. Um, Rosario Cristabel. Present, teacher. Thank you. Wilbur. Present. Uh, Yesenia. Present. And Zelina. Zelina. I'm here. Good, awesome. All right, guys, thank you for helping me with the attendance. I really appreciate that, okay? I appreciate that a lot. So, thank you so much. Okay, give me, okay, that's what I wanted to do. Okay, pretty good. All right, guys, so with that being said, do you guys have any question about yesterday's topic? Mm -hmm. Alguna pregunta sobre los, el tema de ayer, chicos? Any question about yesterday's topic? You good? No, could it be? No, only confused. <laughs> <laughs> uh, entonces, si tiene preguntas. <laughs> so then you have questions. Uh -huh. What is it? Teacher, uh -huh. teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Este, uh -huh. El examen que tenemos que hacer, este, ¿hasta cuándo lo tenemos que presentar? If I'm not mistaken, that is until Thursday uh, midnight. 
jueves medianoche. Hasta jueves a medianoche. Bueno, gracias, teacher. Yeah, you're very welcome. No problem. Uh huh. So, Joanna, any question? Um, no. <laughs> no? Okay. Well, you said you're confused. So, you should have a question. <laughs> All right. Anyways, let's continue here. Okay. So, the platform. It's just loading right now, so give me a second. Let's wait for it. So, guys, you know, we are going to continue right now with the with the section number five. Well, guys, actually, we're pretty much missing just like um two more classes after this one, and then you're done, okay? So you should have everything completed. As it says right here, you know, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the 12, that is... 12. Well, it's actually says tomorrow, but anyways. So, um, as far as I know, that's basically what it is. So, now, it's this is just loading. I don't know why it's taking that long. Okay. Okay, so let me ask you, what do you remember about yesterday's class? ¿Qué se recuerdan de la clase de ayer? What do you remember about yesterday's class? Mm -hmm. Ajá, con suena, the, time, la hora. ¿Hm? la hora. The time in English, the time. Okay. What so, time is it? Uh -huh, what time is it? So what time is it right now, Consuelo? Mm -hmm. What time is it right now? Seven to four, fourteen. Seven? Seven, seven fourteen. Yes, seven fourteen. What's another way to say it? Otra forma de decirlo. What's another way to say it, guys? Chicos, what's any other way to say it? Mm -hmm. ¿Alguna otra forma de decirlo? Tenemos par de formas. Mm -hmm. Por aquí. 14 past 7. Yes, Consuelo. Good job. Yes. Yes. So those are two ways. Those are two ways that we have to say it. Okay. And this is pretty much what we were talking about yesterday. Um, now, before we continue here, let me just um, remember a little bit for you here. Give me just a second. Okay, give me a minute. This is just loading. We're just waiting on the book to load. That's what we're doing. Let me just restart it here. All right, anyways, you know, so that's basically what we were talking about yesterday. Now, uh, the next, I would say like the next thing we are going to be doing here uh, and the objective right here for this one is this. Look at the clocks and select the two possible correct answers for the hours displayed on each watch. For example, we got clock number one, two, uh, three, four, you know, and all that. So for example, we have an example here. It says, what time is it? And it says, it's 20 after two. Otra forma de decirlo sería, it's two, 20, right? It's two, 20. And this is pretty much what we were doing, okay? It says, what time is it? What time is it right here? It's 10 to, to 7 and 6.55 or I'm sorry, 6.50. What do you think? Okay. So you have to select two options. Tenemos que seleccionar dos opciones. So let's do something. I'm going to give you right now five minutes. Let's wait cinco minutos so you guys can check this, okay? Para que podamos revisarlo. Uh, para que puedan trabajarlo ahí. Luego vamos a revisar las respuestas juntos. Then we're going to check the answers together, okay? So I'll give you five minutes. 
five minutes. You can go in and you can actually uh work it out on your material, you know, or I'm sorry. Well, if you have it, but you don't have it printed. I mean, this part is not printed, but you can actually go to the platform and you can work it out. So, si tienen preguntas, me dicen. Ahorita les doy unos minutos para que puedan revisarlos y luego vamos a um, chequearlos, ¿ok? Okay, finish. Yes. ¿Ya terminaron? Si levantan la manita virtual por ahí avisando que ya terminaron. Yes. No. Could it be? Okay. I got Consuelo. She says she's finished. Okay. Okay, guys, so this is what we're going to do. We are going to start checking right now the two ways to say the time, okay? And I mean, number one, it's it's actually, you know, an example. But what about number two? Okay, let's see. Okay, Nidia, can you help us with number two, please? So what time is it in clock number two, Nidia? It's... 10 to 7. Okay, that is one. It's 10 to 7. And the other way to say it? It's 16. It's 650. Good job. Now, Nidia, ask this question What time is it to one of your classmates, please? It's pretty much what we were doing yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, Rosario Cristabel, what time it is? Number three. Um, dame un momentito, saludo. Estoy buscando la plataforma. Porque como ya las hice. Ok. All right. So. All right. Let's see. Es de la sesión 5, ¿verdad, profe? Yeah, section 5. Okay, you can do it later. Um, let's see, Joana Guadalupe, what time is it in clock number 3? 
is quarter to nine. It's quarter to nine. And it's eight forty-five. It's eight forty-five, okay. And what's the other one? E quarter to ten. Yeah. It's a quarter to ten. Okay. Okay. It sounds cool. All right. Now, Joanna, do me a favor. Can you ask this question, what time is it, to one of your classmates, please? What time is it? The question number four. Uh, Jonathan? Jonathan? Jonathan, Jonathan, it's five, five, five past eleven. It's five past eleven, okay. And what's the other way? It's eleven oh five. It's eleven oh five. Pretty good. And the last one, I mean that's not the last one, but the next one. What time is it? Ask that one, Jonathan, to somebody else, please. Pregúntele a algunos de sus compañeros, what, please. What time is it, uh, Wilber Enrique? It's 3.15. It's... Um, it's a quarter past three. Good job. It's a quarter past three. And the last one, Wilbur, ask this question to somebody else. Um, um, Omar Luzardo, what, what time is it? Number six. It's half past four and it's four seven. Okay, pretty good. It's half past four and it's what you said? It's four seven. It's four, four thirty. Thirty. Mm -hmm. Four thirty. Four thirty. Mm -hmm. It's four. All right. Yes, thirty. Mm -hmm. That's what it is, you know, and those are the answers that we guys have here. It looks like we, uh, oops, what happened here with this watch? It's 8.45. Um, no, it's actually 8. It should be 8.45. Okay, yeah, yeah, that, that's, oh, yeah, it's okay here. All right. All right. And that's pretty much what we have right there. Now, basically, guys, as I mentioned yesterday, we have like different ways to say the time. Tenemos más de una forma de decir la hora, right? So you can say, you can use a quarter or you can just say the time exactly. Or anyways, you know, the way you want to do it, that's a way, um, you know, the way that you can um, use it, I would say, or keep it. Uh, that's basically what you can do. But, you know, this is pretty much what, we were talking about, uh, you know, yesterday and all that. So we got the six, uh, uh, we got the clocks right here. We also have like the uh, time expressions. What time expressions like, you know, noon, afternoon, evening, at night, midnight. You know, so that's pretty much what we have, right? Now, we are going to continue here. And our next adjective right now is that by the end of this class, you will be able to understand rising and falling intonation in just no questions and WH questions. So that's what we're going to be doing. So here we go. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna play the audio right now, guys, and I'm gonna ask you to listen, and if we need, we can repeat it, okay? 
Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn about. Can you hear that? About yeah. rising and falling yeah. inflation in yes or no questions and WH questions. Let's get started by understanding intonation. Pitch is raising and lowering the tone of voice while speaking. The use of pitch is called intonation. Understanding English intonation will increase not only your spoken English competency, but your English comprehension as well. Intonation is used to convey meaning. For example, you have the same set of words in two separate sentences, but in one, the meaning may be different than in the other due to intonation. In this class, we'll focus on yes or no questions and WH questions and how intonation gives meaning. Let's listen and practice. Notice the intonation of yes or no and WH questions. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Well, there are many exceptions and rules to follow. In general, we can follow these two simple rules. For yes and no questions, there will be a rising intonation. For example, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? For WH questions, there will be a falling intonation. For example, what's she doing? What are they doing? This topic, along with all the other pronunciation topics, require careful listening and to practice. I would like for you to listen carefully to your favorite English TV program and notice the rising and falling intonation of yes or no questions and WH questions. Okay, so that's pretty much what it is. Now, we're actually talking right here about rising and falling intonation. Now, what is that and how do we use it? Well, I got to tell you guys that rising and falling intonation basically allow us to know what type of question it is and to uh, basically transmit the idea that it's a question that we are talking about. Rise, it's like going up. And fall, it's like going down. Okay. Is she getting up? Okay. Is she getting up? You see, it starts here and it goes up. Comienza aquí y sube la pronunciation. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? Right. Are they sleeping? And that is in the just no questions. Eso es en las just no questions. Pero en las WH questions, el tipo de entonación es falling, porque baja, cae la entonación. That's what it means. What's she doing? What are they doing? Okay. There, there is a difference. Is she getting up? What's she doing? Right? Is she getting up? What's she doing? It goes down. Okay, that's basically the type of intonation that we need to give. Esa es básicamente la entonación que nosotros tenemos que usar. Y así vamos a, van a saber y vamos a poder transmitir de que sí estamos diciendo o preguntando a la redundancia una pregunta. Ok, y que no es una sentence, que no es una oración normal. Ok, so keep an eye on that. Just like make sure about it, ok. Keep it in mind, you know, keep an eye on it. So that's basically what you have to pay attention to. So, otra vez, let's just no questions, va a ser rising. Rising is, means hacia arriba, right? Goes up. Pero las falling will be, falling intonation will be with the WH questions. Like it will go down, all the way down. So that's what it is. So, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Questions? Preguntas sobre eso? Is that clear? Si tienen preguntas, no se queden con las dudas, por favor. Don't, don't hold any doubt. No puede dar más ejemplos, dicho por. Sure, 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 sure. Um, en, en, en general, las 
las yes no questions. ¿Se recuerdan cuáles son las yes no questions, chicos? Primero, partamos de ahí. Do you remember the yes no questions? Okay. Las yes no questions que hemos visto son con el verbo to be, with the verb to be. Okay. And so, if that's with the verb to be, ellas siempre comienzan con qué? Were. 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 Who? Mm, las just no questions. How? Just no questions. They will start with the verb to be. Verb to be is. Uh huh. It was the verb to be. Um. Is are. Is are. Entonces, todas las preguntas que comiencen con. Ah, por el momento, las yes no questions que hemos visto han sido con el verbo to be. Entonces, las que comiencen con estos son yes no questions. Y eso significa que entonces van a ser, ¿qué tipo de entonación? Rising. Van a ir hacia arriba. Right? So, for example, uh, is Omar, is Omar, um, my bad, my bad. Omar, your friend. Is Omar your friend? Right? Is Omar your friend? Okay, then we go with um, are your classmates in the class? Are your classmates in the class? Right? Are your classmates in the class? Right? Just no questions. Entonces, las just no questions son las que van a llevar la rising intonation. Rising es que sube la entonación al final. ¿Ok? Y prácticamente las... es, el, eh, es el verbi, es el que, el que tiene eh, esas entonaciones hacia, hacia mm -hmm. arriba, ¿verdad? Por el momento sí, es el único verbo que hemos visto con... Preguntas de sí y no. Así que por el momento sí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. For the moment, yes. Uh -huh. Ok. Now, then tenemos las WH questions. Se llaman WH. ¿Por qué? Porque comienzan con W y H. Right? So, like, what's your name? Where are you from? Right? Who is she? So you see? It's like, what's your name? Where are you from? Who is she? See, it goes down. It goes down. So that's basically the difference. Entonces, esa es básicamente la diferencia. Las WH questions van a ser, ah, perdón. Sí, las WH questions van a ser Falling intonation. La entonación va a bajar al final. Pero las um, just no questions van a ser rising intonation. Porque va a subir la entonación al final. Like, is, your, is Omar your friend? Are your, class, are your classmates in the class? Mm -hmm. Are your classmates in the class? So you see? That's pretty much what it is. Okay. Is that, is that a little clear now? I mean, or do you still have a question about it? I mean, we will practice that. And we shouldn't be like, I would say, um, having many issues about it, but we will check it out. Mm -hmm. So we'll listen to that right now. Okay. Now let's do something. Let's have some practice. Okay. So what I'm going to ask you to do right now is the following. It says, listen and practice. Notice the intonation of just no questions, just no and WH questions. And select the correct answer. Okay. So I'm going to play the audio. Yo les voy a poner el audio y ustedes eligen si es falling or rising. Okay. If you will choose if it is falling or rising. Okay, based on the rule, we should be able to know. But I mean, as he said, there are some exceptions sometimes. But let's check it out, okay? 
One. Are you wearing a coat? Can you hear that? Good, let's go. Two. What are you doing now? Three. What time is it? Four. Is it midnight? Five. What color is his t-shirt? Six. Are you from Thailand? Okay. Let me play it one more time for you. One. Are you wearing a coat? Two. What are you doing now? Three. What time is it? Four. Is it midnight? Five. What color is his t-shirt? Six. Are you from Thailand? All right. So that's pretty much what it is. Um, now, let's see. What about number one? Are you wearing a coat? Is it falling or rising intonation? Rising. Rising. Rising, yes. What about, what are you doing now? Mm -hmm. Falling. All right. Falling. What time is it? Falling. 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 Okay, okay, okay. I get why you say that. Okay. Now, is it midnight? Rising. 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 What color is the t shirt? Falling. Okay. Are you from Thailand? Rising. 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 Okay. Now, this is what it is. You guys got it. That's basically what it is, guys. I mean, all you have to do is you just have to focus. If it is a just no question or if it is a WH question. And that's it. That's basically all you have to do. Eso es todo lo que tienen que darse cuenta. Si es una yes no question o si es una WH question. Y ya sabiendo si es cuál es cuál, ahí usted ya va a poder hacer la entonación correcta. There you will be able to do the right intonation. So, questions about that? No? Yes, could it be? Mm -hmm. No? No more questions? Are you sure? No more preguntitas? Okay, no problem. All right, so this is what we are going to do then. Okay, now, just to practice a little bit about the conversations, uh, this is what we have right here. Give me a second. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Let's see. Okay. Really? All right. Let me just go next here. All right, let me just go next. And all right. Okay. Now, this is pretty much what it is. Now, let's just do something right here. And what we're going to do is that we are going to start. I will say talking about, I mean, I say a start because we might not be able to finish everything about the um, WH questions with the present continuous, but we're going to start. What we're going to start with is with uh, this, uh, you know, with, with this video right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the video guys and I'm gonna ask you to listen and pay attention to the video. The other objective that we have for this class is that by the end of this class, you will be able to ask and answer questions. Uh, I'm sorry, and answer present continuous WH questions. 
Additionally, you will practice the conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context, okay? So this is what it is. So let me just play the video right here. And I'm gonna ask you to just listen to that, okay? Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to ask and answer present continuous questions. Additionally, we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Now, let's try to make sense of present continuous WH questions. We will typically use present continuous WH questions whenever we want to get information from an action that is in progress. For example, what are you doing right now? To form WH questions, we need to follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. If we look at the images on the screen, you can see a few WH questions. Let's analyze the first one. What's Victoria doing? We have a WH word, what? Then we have the verb to be is after that we have the subject Victoria after that we have the uh, verb in its ing form and then we have a question mark then of course you can see the question being answered she's sleeping now now we're going to listen to the rest of the questions and answers let's listen and repeat. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Permsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Your city. What are you doing? It's, so I'm. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to look at the images again and write questions and answers about them. For example, what's Celia wearing? Celia's wearing a red suit. After you complete this assignment, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so this is pretty much what I was telling you right here. So they're talking, I mean, there's a conversation right here and the topic, as it says right here, it's gonna be about a present continuous with WH questions. Now, we already know the WH questions. Ya sabemos cuáles son las WH questions. So, lo que ahora, now, we are going to use the present continuous with the WH questions. But before we get there, I would like to practice the conversation right here a little bit. So, if you guys want to practice, can you just raise your virtual hand? You know, 
so we can practice the reading right here. That, that's one of the things that we need to practice as well, guys, the reading ability. So I got Aaron. So Aaron, you're going to be a Steve. Hey, Joanna, you're going to be a mom. <laughs> okay, so uh, you guys, you guys can use your own names if you want. Okay, so it's okay. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I'm getting angry. Let angry. Let Eight. <laughs> okay, let's eat. All right, cool. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Okay, the next couple is going to be Catherine. You're going to be mom. And Jonathan Guillen, you're going to be a Steve. So let's go. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, let's go with the next couple. That's going to be uh, Rosario Cristabel. So you're going to be the mom. And Wilber, you are going to be a Steve. Okay. Hi, mom. Um, hi, mom. You're the mom. Uh, what's hard to... Steven, so, so you teacher. No, you are mom. You are the mom. Mm -hmm. Ah, bueno, yes. okay. Uh -huh. uh, what are you doing, Steven? Mm -hmm. I'm cooking. Uh... Why? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo sería una, una primera palabra, teacher? Why? Why are you... Cooking? You... Um... Cooking? ¿Cómo? Cooking. Cooking, no. Eat. Eat. To cook in in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are ma you making? Making pizza. Mmm, pizza. No, I am. Uh, getting hungry, let it oh, eat. Oh, ¿cómo sería? It. It's okay, you said it good. You said it good. Lo dijo bien. Let's see it. Uh -huh. Thank you, thank you, Rosario. Thank you, Wilbert. Thank you so much, guys. So let's go with the next couple. That's going to be, um. let's see. Ta -da 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 -da. So I'm going to ask, uh, let's see. Carlos, Vladimir, you're going to be Steve, and Ana Beatriz, you're going to be mom. Hi, okay. mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. What are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, 
some pizza. No, I'm getting hungry. Let's let's eat. All right. Thank you so much. Now let's go with the next couple. That's going to be uh, Omar Lusardo. You're going to be Steve. And let's go with, let's see, uh, Kenny, I think she wanted to, she wanted to be. So Kenny, you're going to be the mom. Okay. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? Uh, sorry. It's right here. Que terminado. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> it's two o'clock in the morning. Well, mm -hmm. I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. All right. Good job, guys. Thank you. Okay. Any volunteers before we continue explaining this? Volunteers? No? No more? Okay, I got Nidia. Uh, any other volunteer? I mean, I have chance for one more couple. Okay, there we go. I got Nidia. Nidia, you are going to be um, uh, Steve and Consuelo, you are going to be mom. So, let's go. Hey, mom. What are you doing? What are you doing, Steve? I am cooking. Why are you cooking now? It is two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. No, I am getting hungry let's eat mm -hmm. good job thank you thank you so much ladies okay now listen guys there are a couple of things that we still need to work but it's okay we are practicing y por eso es que hacemos las lecturas para practicar okay hay un par de cositas ahí que tenemos que ir mejorando poco a poco pero de hecho entre ustedes más participan más leen se nota y ahí vamos como mejorando poco a poco okay so una de las cosas E igual que en Spanish, the same thing that in Spanish, cuando hay comas, we have to stop a little bit, okay? Like, hi. It's like, hi, mom, right? A little bit. Um, pausa, leave it, right? It says like, y aquí acuérdense, como es una WH question, ya sabemos qué tipo de entonación le vamos a dar. Y va a ver, va a ser falling. So, what are you doing, Steve? It says, I'm cooking why are you cooking now it's two o'clock in the morning well i'm really hungry okay be careful with this no it's angry because if you say angry so you say angry it's enojado right oh enojada so it's hangry hangry okay i'm con hambre right hangry what are you making ¿Qué estás cocinando? ¿Qué estás haciendo? It says pizza. And it says, mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Punto, right? Tenemos que detenernos ahí. Y luego seguimos. Let's eat. Right? So, mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Okay? So we gotta be careful with that. We need to pay attention to that, okay? So, questions about the meaning of these words? Preguntas sobre el significado de alguna de esas palabras? All clear, teacher. All clear? Perfect. Perfect. Now, I just want you to remember the pronunciation of the few words. For example, we will say hungry, okay? Making, getting, and let's eat. Once again, that's hungry, making, getting and let's eat so that's pretty much what it is now i want you to notice something 
I want you to notice the words that are ending in ing. Quiero que se pongan a, a, a ver o a analizar qué verbos terminan en ing. ing, ing. So we got doing, cooking, doing, cooking. Morning is not a verb. No es un verbo morning, okay? We got making and getting. And that is basically, you know, we have four verbs in ing. So that is basically the present continuous form of the verbs, okay? But that is something we're going to start talking about tomorrow, okay? So we will stop it right here. And tomorrow we are going to continue with the present continuous, okay? I'm going to explain a little bit more about the grammar tomorrow. But for now, it's better to stop it here so we don't leave things, you know, just in the middle of the process, okay? So any question right now, guys, before I let you go? No? No. Okay. If you guys don't have any question, I will see you tomorrow, okay? So you guys take care and enjoy the rest of your night, okay? If you yeah. can check this, I mean, this will be awesome if you can check it, okay? The present continues, all right? So bye-bye, guys. You guys take care. I see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.